why he blocked on the other page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Why do, why do they block you? Well, like, I guess you get reported yeah, or something? Yeah, it's, it's a bigger page, and I'm not going to go to conspiracy shit, but hey, <laughs> as you see, I'm here. I, I can't run. Really, you know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> no, good, good to see you, man. I'm glad you, you don't look, you look good, bro. I appreciate you, brother. <laughs> so what's been up, man? How's, how's, how's things hitting for you? Talk to me. Oh, man. Um, like I told you, I'm a fucking mess, but um, not that, that, not that it's a bad thing, but uh, on my level is, I guess, if it makes sense, like, like when you get to different um, stages in your life, you get at a, at a block, you know what I mean? You feel like you get it, you're... I guess it's motivational shit, like you always say. Like mm -hmm. you feel like you got it's mad motivational, spiritually or physically, depending on your definition. Um, but all I can say is, um, every time you do your videos, I'm always praying, speaking to myself on different shit that I'm going through, and you just like talk. Like your next video is about the same shit that I've been talking about in my to myself. <laughs> so. <laughs> I've been fighting that. I've been fighting that to tell you the truth because I'm just like, you and I don't have no relationship. Like, we have a relationship as far as I've been watching you, but you don't know who the fuck I am, you know, and, uh, according to uh, physically, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, uh, so it, it's been fucking with me because, um, especially nowadays, well, every day, every day, is the same thing um, as far as like when you talk to people and they want to scam you or you know you're always looking at something somebody trying to take over on you you know what I mean mm -hmm. but my mm -hmm. thing my thing is you have nothing to gain from me except you know monetarily but at the end of the day you've given me more than you even could imagine at the end of the day I'll just mm -hmm. say that you know and so um, just like I just said like I've met people in past lives or in my younger years who um who have been uh, mentors to me that I have relationship with, who like church, church wise, like Christian. Mm -hmm. When I was a Christian, you know, I'll be praying, I'll be asking Jesus for certain things, and um, a certain brother named Michael, who was I met in 1997 to give my age. Um, we was in the military together. We spent a lot of time together. You know what I mean. And then 2012 is where I became woke, and uh, you know, started you know, looking outside of the church for answers. But, mm -hmm. um, so, and this is before the internet. So I'm just giving a background, um, not only for you, but for whoever watches this, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm listening, I'm listening. So, um, so me and Mike, we were like boys, like in, in the Air Force, you know, we was in it. Matter of fact, just to give a better example, I was in the church, he was out of the church, but he was preaching better than the pastors in the church. <laughs> so, but it never it never occurred to me at the time that he was giving me more more game more wisdom more spiritual insight than the pastors in the church i kept going faithfully because i was like well um i looked up to him more but i was still going to church trying to look for answers in the church when the brother next to me was giving me more answers than anything spiritually you know what i mean Mm -hmm. We just had a connection that um, I didn't even have to tell him anything, and he would give me answers to the shit that I was just thinking about. It was just weird, weird, you know, physically. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't you. real, you know, how you be speaking. So, um, what is real, you know? So, not to, not to get confused with Israel. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, funny. That was funny though. <laughs> so no, but I'm 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 adding that on purpose because of your videos that you've been posting. You know what I mean? As you always post, but every video you do, um, just gives me more and more insight. But yet I'm more and more confused, and so and I feel more and more dumb. And so, but I have no problem being dumb. It's the point that. I don't know you physically, mm -hmm. so it's hard for me to trust people. You know, then we've had consultations. We we spoken here and there. You know, I, I've taken taken a couple of your things, but um, we've never met physically, so it, it fucks me up. And I'm an older man in this body. You know, mm -hmm. close to the fifty, so it just 
and, and the shit that we're we're accustomed to, it just it doesn't fit our um cos what's that cos cosmology that. Mm-hmm. So so more and more when I listen to it, I'm just why I say I'm I'm just fucked up is because nothing in this physical world I want or need, but I gotta every time I wake up, we need something to live. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. an illusion. Just because it's an illusion don't mean it's not real. We still gotta deal with everyday life. So um I think I got that down packed because I don't need millions. I I, I figured out how to live very comfortably on thousands <laughs> at the end of the day. <laughs> you know? So um but then my my next thing is okay, what happens after this Tony's body dies? Like, how do I prepare for the next level is what I've been at. And so, um, that's where I'm at. Point. Mm-hmm. And then, no, after, no, no. we've been talking like about, that. like, after death, when the, when old boy asked you that, like, that, what happens after death? Because he had a, he had a passing. And I, I see that a lot of uh, youngins follow you, which is dope. But I, I, my first instinct is to be impatient and be like, why are they asking all these dumb guys questions? And I'm like, because you ask all these dumb ass questions. <laughs> no, I feel you. So that's, that's where I'm at, man. Mm-hmm. No, it, it, that's part of the reason I love when people do ask the questions, even if it's a dumb one, because you'd be surprised how many other people are thinking the same thing, but just didn't. You know, reach and I, and I, I fuck with you for real, cause, cause you're one of the only, only people who will actually take the videos and and clip something, you know, and and I appreciate that. Um, but I mean, it's, okay, so as far as as far as the idea, of what's gonna happen after after the physical life, uh, and how how our cosmology don't necessarily uh, speak to that sometimes, cause it just and it's, it's beautiful, cause um in the guild, cause it's the three months we're on the second month and we talk about ancestors. Um, and so we're, we're, we're literally speaking about this stuff. Um, cause it's, sometimes it's hard to tell, it's hard to understand why, why I go through cosmology, but cosmology directly answers questions like that. Like if he was like a Norseman or something, um, they have Valhalla and that's right there in the cosmology. So it don't, it doesn't beg the question, you know, but with, with the, with the materialism and the physicalism that we got right now, it basically the answer to the question and when you divide your life into you know cells and atoms not to say those things aren't real but they don't they don't answer that question of what happens after the body well well, i guess to the degree to which they do answer it they basically say there's nothing you know and and i wouldn't fuck with that so i'll admit bro real shit um for people today it's 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 gonna be difficult it's, it's a little difficult because usually the cosmology answers that for you it tells you how you're connected to the cosmology it 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 it, it almost makes that stuff obvious but nowadays that shit ain't necessarily obvious um so i guess the the, the one way i can say to start out with it is examining examining your current or present state of awareness like let, let me let me say something more specific than that because that's that's uh that's too fluky. Broad. um <laughs> okay like check it check it like um okay uh we can go back to the agreed axioms uh i'm not my body or i'm more than my body uh how's that one sitting for you that, that's perfect mm-hmm. but no problem with that right but the direction, okay. the direction on going after that, that's the part. Yes. Okay. Smooth. Smooth. No, that's good. and that's understandable. Um, okay. So we can, we can move it like this. Um, whatever it is you have right now, while you have a body will be what you have when you don't have a body. It's like, it's like saying, what's going to happen to me after my car gets totaled, you know, well, whatever you got right now is what you got. So the what i say to that is usually something like this um you can be you can be building all these things before your body dies in fact this is usually what i would recommend you know you want to uh, the way i like to say it is you want to you want to learn to die before your body dies right and so it's 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 a process of of somewhat leaning into that axiom leaning into that i'm not my body or i'm more than my body um like 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 for example uh 
not for example, here's a, I'm gonna ask your question and we can build off of that. Um, as far as the, the details on your non-physical, how's that going? Not good at all. That's the, that's the problem. What you mean? Okay, okay, what do you mean by not good at all? Because sometimes, sometimes people do a little better than they than they give themselves credit for. Okay, well, hopefully, hopefully, at, at the end of this, I, I'm I'm doing better than what I give myself credit for. But um, now nah, that's what that's what my problem is because I don't really have like um, like I said, like what you said, direction with discipline. That that thing you did on discipline and direction, like it's not a part. Like when you have um. A discipline and direction like when you go to the gym you want to look a certain type of way so you have a a goal in mind a direction where you're going right mm -hmm. but when it comes to spirituality i have no direction i have no goal because i don't now i'm just like i don't believe in heaven and hell because i came from that so now it's just like okay i don't believe in that cool now what like i'm just drifting in the wind like anything that could take you goes to eat you know what I mean? So you're like a, mm -hmm. uh, a leaf in the wind, just being blown here and there. But you know, there's you know there's something there, or it's supposed to be something there. But then, like when I hear you speak, it's like, damn, I hear him speaking. And yes, I need direction. Yes, I need a goal. But if if you've never been taught, just like you said, we get stuck on being taught and being guided and always having a savior. You know what I mean? You're always being coddled. You always have a spoon mm -hmm. feeding you. To the point is just like, like, well, how the fuck you think now? How do you think about your thing? Like when you say it could be all so simple, I'm like, damn, yeah, it could all be so simple, but this shit ain't simple right now. I'm fucking 46, <laughs> so it's just like you live all your life being coddled and spoon fed and, and shovel fed at the end of the day because, and now we have all this information. Yes, we have everything at our at our. So this is why I relate. I, I try to put down people when I thought I was high. I was like, you got Google and YouTube, right? You got everything in your head. I'm like, Yo, you got everything you need. And I, I realized that people couldn't even search um, how to heal yourself from a cold, a common cold, or um, mm. de definitions, like what you do with the definition. Mm -hmm. I was big on definition with the etymology and definitions and stuff. It was just like, you, you just think you know everything, so you don't even think to search it. You just think you know it, just like you, so that's why mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. Like with you, like it's just like you you um you put a mirror in front of my face. That's all I could say. Is that you put a mirror in front of my face, everything that I'm frustrated with, annoyed with with other people, I'm annoyed with me. <laughs> because I have no answers at the end of the day. Like I wake up, I was like, damn, you thought you were somewhere and now you ain't nowhere. Like you just <laughs> no, I know the feeling, man. You're just Dorothy that, that took in a in a tornado and you would just spin around. You're still in the same place. You just spun around. And I was just like, oh shit, where am I at? I'm just dizzy. <laughs> you just dizzy, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. but it's just it's just being real with yourself and and shit like this, I don't even like. I don't, I'm not comfortable with like I told you I never did this before live. But I was like, fuck this man. Like I need I need to keep I said this over maybe 10 years ago i said get comfortable being uncomfortable this was this was my yeah. my shit saying this to everybody else right but when yes. it comes to me when it comes to me <laughs> <laughs> right comfortable being uncomfortable so it's it's easy to 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 fake it till you make it but then it's like where are you trying to make it to at the end of the day if, when so what made me realize is, is that my image don't matter yeah i want to look good yeah, I want this physical body to look good, but at the end of the day, where's where is that getting me? I don't, mm -hmm. I don't want nothing. I don't need nothing. I just want to feel good at the end of the day about how this physical body looks. But then now, okay, you got the image. Now, where are you trying to take the image? Because you don't want nothing in this physical life. Mm -hmm. That's where I've been stuck, and that's where I was just, I had anxiety, depression. I'm telling you, like, I, it's something new to me. I was just like, what the fuck is going on like, like you know what i mean so it's just new to mm -hmm. me and you just like i said every time you said something it was like answering answering but not answering all my questions because you're just you're just calling me out is what i'm saying like it's like you're just challenging me without without you challenging me because we never met before but i'm just looking at your videos like what the, who is this dude like what the, <laughs> you, you, you know what i mean so
So right, let's do this then. Um, do you remember? Do you remember the the place we were examining in the consultation? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay, we'll use that as ground zero. Um, just like with the car example, like if your car, if your car was gone today, let's say for for the sake of argument, that's that's what you would have. If your body was gone today, let's say that's what you would have, right. and we can start from there. Um, so as far as 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 place is concerned, um, but but then again, that that, that that answers the question. But like you said, don't answer the question, so we can put some detail on it. Um, because I, I I remember for for a while, uh, I had I had a similar question and I didn't know I had the question um, until I until I, I faced it and I had a a reluctance about about what would happen with my personality uh, after the body was gone and I was like okay well. Well, fuck it. I'll start to make something for that. I'll start to 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 actually lean into having that as a direction. Um, and so that there's one part of it. We can take that ground zero and and make it a home for your personality. Um, it's just not to say it has to be infinite and eternal because you know eternity is a long fucking time. But it's 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 something other than nothing. Uh, that's the first thing. The other, the second thing, um, had, had you done any of the ancestor work at all? Like how'd that, how'd that go for you? Mm -mm. That's, and that's another thing. Like when you were telling me that I was, I'd be stuck. Cause, and then you answered the question. You was like, you try to talk to your ancestors with language. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I told you in the consultation, I was like, how the how am I supposed to talk to my pops, my, my, you know, my ancestors and all them? I like, I'm trying to talk to them like verbally. And you're like, mm -hmm. and you said that <laughs> every time you talk, it's funny. Cause you remind me of my pops. Cause you, you, you be holding your patience in. <laughs> 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 and you're like, yo, you don't have to talk. Like it, it does, everything is not talking. So it's like, I guess I'm trying to skip. I'm always trying to skip steps. I'm not trying to do. I'm not trying to do what you're telling me to do because I'm not understanding what what you're telling me to do at the time. Because mm. you're not telling me to do nothing. You're just you're, you're asking me. You're giving me homework to do, but you're not giving me an outcome, like like school teaches you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right or wrong, you know, situations. So it's like I'm going into the thing that you're telling me to do, and I'm like, what the fuck is he telling me to do this for? Like I can't. I can't talk to these motherfuckers. Like you know what I mean? So. <laughs> So these are the things that I get frustrated with because um, I'm looking for a right or wrong answer. Yeah. I'm looking for destination at the end of the mm -hmm. day. You know what I mean? And, and if, I, if, you, if you can approach it, because uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just part of the fuck around to find out. Like, it's, I get the inclination to, to come to a right or wrong answer. You know, that's usually how we was taught in school. But um, with this one, what I usually try to suggest is it's risking being wrong like go in and 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 telling yourself look i'm gonna do this wrong like not because i want to mess up but because it, to give yourself space like learn to ride a bike kind of shit like i'm gonna do this wrong before i get it right um and, and i mean as far as talking without symbol like i mean without without language we do that every day like I can go like this and i can speak volumes you know like shit if you want to go because when you're working non-physically um <laughs> You can have extra hands. Like maybe that's what you want to do. Like maybe just to start out, you know, just get some extra hands and. Mm -hmm. You know, like no words, you can start out that way. Like if you had a, a baby or a dog, you know, you can communicate with them. And and here's another thing, because this might help out a little bit. Um, just just on your own side, you know, you can start with language if you want to, but the, the big thing is don't expect language to come back. That's that's what I've, I've been trying to emphasize from the guild is like, because right now we both using our physical bodies to talk. And so the, the mechanism for that is, is the language, it's the words. Um, but when somebody doesn't have, have a physical body, they're not necessarily limited to that. Um, and so as long as you're not expecting words to come back as it, 
it 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 um it'll free you up a little bit. Um so so we got the ground zero. Um the ground zero you can use to 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 really make it Tony's place. To really make it Tony's place. Um because sometimes when people get started they 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 when they're worried about doing something wrong, they they approach it as though you know, oh, I'm gonna do something wrong and I can never fix it. Uh, it's gonna be broken forever and I'm fucked everything up. Like, nah. Not only can you always change this shit, but it's going to change. It's gonna change itself. Like, uh, one of the one of the students in the guild, um, she's one of the pioneers. Um, she she leaned into the ancestor ritual where um, where I instructed them, you know, okay, give over give over the life of your your physical life over to the care of the ancestors um and you know at first it's like why am i doing this what's going on what's the expectation how's it supposed to come out um but she would lean into it she would start it you know at first it's a little fuzzy but as she continued to do it over and over again the entire space would open up uh more detail would come about um things became more clear because on your first time, just like at the, in the Matrix, you know, when they jump over the buildings, you know, everybody fuck up the first time. But if you jump thinking you about to get it, you're going to be hurt, you know? So it's like, it's like the reason I, the reason I tell people to start with the ancestors and giving over, giving over the custody of your physical life to the ancestors is, um, one, it'll help you stop focusing on it so much. And two, when you catch yourself focusing on it too much, you can go back and redo the ritual again. You can refocus on what happened, bring yourself back there, and it gives you a bit of clarity. Um, how does that sound? How is that landing? Because I don't want to just keep spitting stuff and, it, and, and, and it's going all over the place. I don't know. I, I hear what you're saying. It, pretty much what it's saying to me is stop bitching up and keep working on it. Like... I, I'm, I'm looking for something that is, <laughs> is supposed to be microwavable, but it's not microwavable. It's something that you got to keep working at and keep mm -hmm. doing. Just you know, just like when we when we learn how to walk, we keep falling down, but we don't look at that as failure. We just keep trying to walk and fall, no. you know, crawl, walk. But and um, the funny thing about walking is, it means uh, walking is falling stylish, stylishly, stylishly. You know, right. it really is. It's like falling forward with a bit of a rhythm. So it's like you don't you don't even have to not fall down. Like sometimes falling down will show you something you didn't realize was there. So it, it, it's what can I? I'm gonna cut you off real yeah, quick. Go ahead. So I guess yeah, go ahead. the biggest thing that gets in my way is why am I falling down? I don't know what the walking part is supposed to be. I know I mm -hmm. I'm well. I didn't know that when I was trying to walk. Anyway, I didn't know when I was crawling I was supposed to walk. <laughs> right i'm trying to know i'm trying to know before i'm supposed to know yeah 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 it, it's, it's just to fuck around and find out yeah that's a, and, and, and you you're nailing it because that's that's exactly the thing that, that that's giving you the the um the friction it's like if you fall off that bike the first time you you swear off bikes and it's like nah you're supposed to fall a couple times just because that's how you that's how you get the balance you know I mean, but I, I, I understand the, the, you know, the reluctance because it, it feels like I'm doing it wrong. Um, and you may be doing it wrong, but no, wrong is the, is the pathway to right. But to, to try to correct that, if I could, if that's the right word, um, not that I'm doing it wrong. I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing it. You know what I mean? I just know when Tony, this body Tony dies, I don't know what what's the correct what, what am i even working towards like you know what i mean so before we was taught heaven and hell so before i knew i didn't want to go to hell i wanted to go mm -hmm. to heaven but once, mm -hmm. once you come to that but once you come to that realization that there is no heaven and hell for yourself and your perspective now what are you working towards i and that's where i'm stuck like what am i working towards or mm -hmm. what what's the like before like you talking about riding a bike you know riding a bike you want you want to get on that bike yeah get the what's the, the the wheels the training wheels you want to get off the training wheels if you even we didn't have money for training wheels but so once the, 
but once you start riding, you knew that you just wanted to do this, and then you found out mm-hmm. that you could do abilities or other tricks, you know, if you, if you got to that level. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we knew we just wanted to ride the bike. So I guess spiritually, I don't even know what riding the bike is now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like a phone. So, I guess, so spiritually, I don't even know what riding a bike means. I don't know what walking means. That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's the whole conundrum. And see, I'm, I'm going I'm to go ahead and let you know, sir. Um, Just you contending with these questions, not just contending with them, being willing to talk about it and publicly, your, your league's ahead of most people. Because most of them, they're not even going to contend with the questions. They're just going to assume they're already right. So you're already, you're already taking steps. That, like the steps you're taking, they may not seem like walking, but it, it's the crawling, the, the necessary crawling. You know, so so th- it's not bad. It's not it's not that you are, you know, ultimately wrong in any. So you're actually on the you're actually in the direction. Uh, so I, I, I want to make sure I give you your your, your accolades on that. Um, but you, you, you you're right, because usually when you learn to ride a bike or learn to drive, you can see a bunch of other people doing it, right. you know, um, and th- th- the place where this is a bit different is uh, what you're doing isn't necessarily supposed to be like what anyone else has done. And that's why it's, that's why it's, it's a little, it's a little different. It's almost like carving a whole different path. Um, hmm. Hmm. Here we can do this. This, uh, this might help. Um, I, w- I want to give, give you some direction and I want to give you some technique. Uh, okay. Um, as far as direction, uh, cause I, cause I don't want to try and tell you, you need to get to step 10. Step one is where you gotta be because once you, once you, once you get through step one, step two becomes somewhat obvious, you know? And sometimes people at step one, looking at step 10, thinking that's how you, you gauge it and it don't work that way. Um, it's, it's when you get, when you get through step one, step two presents itself. Um, so in terms of direction, especially here at step, step one, what you're mostly doing is, is uncovering what's there and, and building, building what's appropriate for you or what, what fits mostly to what you want. Because what you want now won't be what you want later. And that's natural. You know, you get, the, you get the, that shit growing up, right? Uh, like in Christianity, uh, when you accept Christ, they they call it a rebirth you're you're born again and in terms of direction you want to look at this as though it's a place in which you're being born again and so you're going through the baby phase it's like it doesn't even matter the age of your physical body it's like that's that's the beauty of it you know it's it's leaning into the fact that in this you're being born again you're you're going through the whole baby numbing on shit crawling kind of stuff but all those things even though they look childish and weak they're necessary for the development. So, so you like that's like I'm saying, bro. You're crawling right now, and it's it's it's, it's so much better than motherfuckers just kicking around on their back and shit. Uh, so I, I want to make sure you don't you don't knock yourself for not you know running already. Um, I be telling folks, I've been I've been doing this shit for years, years, and so it's 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 a lifetime journey. It's not it's not like something you can you you you're gonna finish picking up. You know, like sometimes you take, take a class and okay, you went through all the courses, you took the test, they give you the certificate, and now you're on to the next thing. Like this one is is it's it's always continuous. Um, okay, so like there's some you there's said, a little bit of direction. No, just, huh? I wanted to, I wanted to add that you always say you never stop finish washing your ass. Like you always shitting and you always keep washing the ass. It right? never stops. So every day, you know, you can get in there, get it extra clean today. Tomorrow they're gonna be some new shit. Some more shit. <laughs> right? right after you shit, you about to shit again. You know, you take a shower, you all clean, you're like, oh shit, that shit coming back. And you don't right. control and that. And you have no control over that. That's another thing you said. Mm-hmm. It's like, there is no control. Like we wanna control everything. We wanna control emotions and we wanna control this and but we have no we really have no control and that that's another question I had about like free will and all that stuff. So but anyway. I'm just no, 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 no. 
because because I think control is really overrated. Control is usually what you try to get when you feel like you lost to try and get things back. But in this, especially in the beginning, it's more about leaning into being lost. Like sometimes, uh, like especially when I move to a new place um, and I don't know how I don't know how the setup is, I'll get lost on purpose. Um, I'll 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 just take a few turns and yeah. keep turning. Not even I don't even care which way I'm turning. I'm just I'm seeing what I can see, and eventually I I end up in a place where oh shit I know where this is. So if this is here, that means that was there, that was there, and that was there. It's 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 it's, it's a learning, but it's not. It's not linear. Like in school, we were taught to learn in a linear fashion. They give you this, then they tell you this, then they tell you this. But but in the way this comes, like by the time you hit the, the aha moment, you've you've you you've already went through three courses and now it makes sense. You know, so it, I'm not gonna say that's not frustrating, because it is. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. You know, so you're not you're not delusional for for feeling frustrated about it because it is frustrating um but it's 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 par for the course it's par for the course because some of the things that you learn in that non-linear way you wouldn't have been able to understand if you'd have got it all at once you know so it's 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 par for the course bro um so yeah uh, uh direction so so hopefully i can give you some kind of direction a little bit uh but as far as uh some technique we can expand that ground zero a little bit so so that it has a little more a little more obvious purpose to it um so we can take the ground zero the basic place you got um and and because because you don't have to throw away heaven and hell uh only because you know them so well but you can recontextualize it to 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 fit to what you're doing until like training wheels until it can it i pause that real quick go ahead because I know them so well. Do we really know heaven and hell that well, though? Uh, well, you know, know it enough to, you know, it, for right, it to right. for it to be what you got, got you. you know. Not to say you're an expert or anything like that, but 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 it it, it comes to mind readily. Right. Um. Is the so goal instead, in the direction? Hmm? Is the goal in the direction? Yeah, yeah, to get you moving in a direction. Right. That way, because sometimes people will see anything Christian, anything, they just reject it and they run, ah, no, I'm not that. But it's like, but that's what you know. And so much of this stuff is going gonna, is gonna to come out of based on what you know. Um, but so it, 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 it's, it's contextualizing it a little bit. So um, we can do this. Um, we can take that ground zero and and make that, make that just... Um, just Tony's world, Tony's area, but you can um, to add to that. You can you can uh, populate the sky, you know the clouds and stuff. You can make that like a heaven-ish type of place, and use that to begin to deal with ancestors. So you can start off anytime you go in. You you start up in Tony's place. You know, chill, pop it off. Hey, what's going on? We doing good here. Um, then you want to do some ancestor work up to the clouds, and it's still it's still it still keeps you in the same mode but um and it, it still keeps you in the same mode but it's something that's a little bit familiar so it's not just walking in the dark okay so you can go up there you can have whole other worlds up there doing that um you can you can you can make, make it whatever you like but sometimes people get into a place where they feel like they're going to make something wrong um it's understandable um and so that's why i say just just start with a heavenish right ground you know um and and you can move from there uh so ground zero uh like a heavenly sort of ancestor realm and then we can fuck with hell as well uh but in hell you can make it like tony stuff that tony doesn't want to have to look at tony don't want to have to deal with but he's gonna eventually need to talk to fuck with you know so uh, right up under that ground zero you can even have some stairs over there if you want to you can have an elevator it's 2024 you know right <laughs> you can have an elevator with some blink, little flame doors blink, or whatever i blink huh? my ass down there i, I blink my ass down there. <laughs> really, really though and see look and stuff like that is right it's not wrong at all yes you, you it can be as simple as that that's what i mean when i say it can be so simple yes it can be as simple as that and the fact that that just comes out you know i didn't have to pull that out of you that's why I would say go with. Yes. 
So you mean go down to the hell, the hell realm and and start to deal with the the like that part of you that's that's ready and, and just ready to jump up and say, "Hey man, you doing it wrong." You can go it can be that can be its whole place. Cuz it's not to say that thing is 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 not valuable. Cuz sometimes if you if you're trying to do something right, uh, you know, it's it's cool for it to say, "Hey man, that's wrong." But if it's ready to jump out at any and everything you do, that's a little bit something different. Does that make sense? Yeah, how's yeah. that landing for you? How's that? How's that sound? So what, what I've gotten so far is um, it's not being afraid to create shit, be a creator. Like that, that's where I'm getting from this conversation is um, it's not about it's not so much that you you make your own shit. Like I, I heard you as well. Like you just want to have your own rules and you know you just want to be free which we all want to be free and, and do our own shit which comes with consequences and repercussions at the end of the day <laughs> Fuck freedom right. isn't free <laughs> free is not right 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 so at the end of the day it's just like um like when you were putting me through those exercises i i was frustrated and annoyed because i didn't know why i was doing those exercises you didn't tell me you didn't give me a goal you didn't give me no directions you just like yo fuck around find out and, and and tell me what happens next week type thing and i was like fuck you telling me like <laughs> like you ain't give me no <laughs> i ain't paying to do that i'm paying to tell me what to do but <laughs> <that's> what, <laughs> you know what I mean? and so it's just a mindset of um i'm listening to you but um i'm getting in the way a lot of times my my mental past of what I've been taught to do, not not that it's bad or wrong, but it's, it's my mental of not thinking of my thinking. And now that, you know, I'm hearing more and more, um, like, like you, you kept saying, is that a, a wrong or right answer? But I'm just like, okay, it's not a wrong or right answer, but what? A, <laughs> tell me what the fuck to do. <laughs> <laughs> what the- <laughs> And that's what I find with a lot of people. It's, it's, you know, you can say, okay, it's not a right, right or wrong answer, but then there's this, there's still something that's going to tell you, oh, you're doing it wrong. And it's like, well, hold on, wait a second. There's not a right or wrong answer. And so that, that's a perfect place to, to find that thing and say, hold on. Okay. I see you now. I see you over here talking shit. I'm not, I want to get rid of you, but we got to put it in some context, you know? Um, oh man. <laughs> And, and and sometimes it's not so much that you 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 want to be creating things because because sometimes when we create stuff we think okay I'm forcing it I'm trying to make yeah, it happen that's that's, that's usually why I don't like to tell people what to do right huh that that's where I get anxiety when I gotta force shit like I'm just trying to force like I I gotta come back to you and be like yo I had this whole fucking shit planned out yo I got Disney World but it's not Disney World I got some <laughs> other shit that you ain't never heard before. <laughs> So it's like mm-hmm. I, that's the forcing of that I'm forcing myself to come back with a great homework that the teacher asked me to come with. Mm-hmm. So that's 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 how it is, and, and I'm I'm trying to be real and as real as I, as possible as I can because I, I, it's just like I'm I'm stuck in my 40s, my late 40s, thinking this way, and I see you know the youngins thinking their way, and so I'm just like man, I got that's why I wanted to do this live, and that's why it took me to do this live. Honestly, whoever whoever sees it sees it. It ain't like that. But and it's it's crazy that it wasn't I wasn't able to do it on my big page. I had to do it mm-hmm. on my small page. So I seen a few people that came in that I was like, oh shit, I don't know what they gotta hear, but it is what it is. <laughs> but it made, it made it even more cringe. The, 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 <laughs> cringe. <laughs> I love that. So so no, but it, it it's just that's the point. Like I just wanna be I'm trying to be me, whatever the fuck me is and um just be uh whoever can learn but i just want to fuck whoever can learn like i'm trying to learn really at the end of the day you know yeah. what i mean and yes so i talk to myself like this all the time but it's just like um if it could when you say it could all be so simple i'm like bitch no it can't what the fuck <laughs> <you talking about? laughs> <laughs> no one is so simple, but no. But then, but then I listen to myself. I say the same shit to other people talking about different subjects, right? Mm-hmm. It, could be, it can all be so simple, and I'm, I'm just thinking the same thing when you're saying it. So it's just like I, I can relate everything that you're saying because I take what you say as a challenge, and I love that. I take it as a challenge, 
and then I, I, I put it every time I'm trying to um, down somebody, which in my mind, I'm not downing them. I'm being humble and graceful, you know, trying to teach people on some other shit. And I was just like, nah, Tony, remember you was at that level on this, you know, their type of level. It was easy for you now. But before, remember when it was hard as fuck? Remember when you thought you was like, you were going to die because old girl left you or old girl cheated on you? You know what I mean? You thought all these little things that are little now mm -hmm. are like, they were huge at one point in my life. So this this thing right mm -hmm. now is huge in my life because I'm like, the spirituality, I thought I had it down pat when I was in church, teaching kids, teaching the youth, playing the praise and worship. I was doing all the best. All the things that I could have been the highest of the highs except being a pastor, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so I, I, I got caught in this level that it was like, damn, you are no, you don't really know shit about spirituality. And, and, and it sucks, it sucks to feel that way when you thought, it's like being an um, eighth grader, now you gotta be a ninth grader in high school. Ooh, you were an eighth right? grader in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I remember that shit. <laughs> you was the man. Now you shit. Nobody knows you. Then you were the senior. Now you're like, oh, now it's adulthood. Nope. Fuck who? You high school? You coming out of high school? The fuck is high school? You still a little kid. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. levels in life that you gotta be like you always say. You you just gotta be able to look yourself in the mirror, be like, not that you ain't shit, but you ain't shit because most of the time you think you're too much. Yes. So. I understand, I understand when you say you're a piece of shit. I'm fucked up. All these, I don't take it as a, as a, like I used to take it. Oh, he's talking down. Everything, every, everything's life and death and the power of the tongue. You know what I mean? And which is, can be true. Life and death is the power of the tongue. But you understand what you're saying when you're saying it. Somebody mm -hmm. else's perspective, like when I talk, somebody else's perspective be like, you're so negative. You're so, no, I'm not negative. I'm just being real with what's happening at the time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're seeing the you're seeing the cup half empty instead of half full. No, I get I get all that stuff what you're saying, but at the time, <laughs> no, this shit is really half empty, really empty, empty because I thought I was above. I thought I had a full cup. I thought my shit was running over. She <laughs> 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 was running over. <laughs> <laughs> you start telling folks how you feel in this. I love it. Red <laughs> or the black, oh, whatever the whatever's a negative. But yeah, so that's. And see, look, man, like you be talking about the youngest man. Like this is this is why I would prefer to talk to grown folks because the youngest they don't understand any of that. All they got is he talking down to me. He being mean to me. Uh, he's not telling me my cup is half full. You know, he's on negative energy, and they don't—they haven't been through enough yeah, been through. to understand that they—they they, they don't understand. Right. And see, that's what I'm saying, man. You—you're leagues ahead of other people in certain respects. It's—it's because it's, we all got different things we good at, and we—we we become competent in. You know, like like man, you—you you may be able to pull the hood on this car up, and 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 show me the fuck out, and and yeah, <laughs> you know. It's just like and just like you were talking about with going from like from middle school to high school to high school to college to college to out here in the world like that that cycle that that cycle of renewing where you go from being the top motherfucker on the block to back to baby shit it don't it never stops like you always it's always gonna be that and even when you leave the block you could be a gang leader you go to the next block gang leader who the fuck mm -hmm. is you? Or you go to the next state, next country. You know what I mean. So it's, mm -hmm. it's always in everything, and that's a, when um there's a, there's a rap song. I, I heard. I, I know you say you, you're the least black man. You always talk about rap. You're like I don't know nothing about that shit. <laughs> I be listening. Yeah, I be listening. But so um, I think it was Meek Mills. He said he got a song called "There's Levels to This Shit." Mm -hmm. and so so again, I always I always listen and think on different perspectives. When he was talking about this level to this shit, he's talking about, you know, money and shit. But when I look at everything, spirituality or physical, there's always levels to everything in life. And I, I feel that's like um that's like a universal shit. Like there's always levels to everything. You know what I mean? I watched mm -hmm. deers. I was like, why a deer could be born and walk within an hour or two? And I'm like, yeah. does not a year over a year to just walk? So I I thought about shit like that, and I was just like, well, there's levels. Well, you want to be a deer and get eight? 
when you come out the belly. Ooh, that's why they gotta run so quick. So they're, pro, they're pros and cons. So, uh -huh. so, so that's that's the type of shit that I think about, and that's the type of um, pros and cons that I think about everything. And then when I, when I listen to you, I'm just like, God damn! Like I thought I was, I thought I was ahead of the game. And then you you just <laughs> brought me down to back to like back in the belly. I'm back. I'm back in my mama's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you your flowers because I, I have no problem giving everybody their, their flowers. You know what I mean? Just like you said, we all have our, our, our gifts. Not our gifts, but our strengths or whatever. Wherever we're at, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, like, you're, you're way 10 years younger than me. And that was a big thing. And if we never met before, so that was another, another barrier for me. But I was just like, damn, man. Everything he says, every time he brings out a video... It's already giving me answers to shit that I never even talked to this brother about. You know what I mean? So I was just like, it, I have no choice but to keep going. You know what I mean? So when he asked me to do this live, I was just like, damn, why are you always? I didn't want to do no live, man. You just got to put me out the way. <laughs> but I was like, hey, man, be be comfortable being uncomfortable. And I know I know younger people need to hear an older man be humble at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Because I, I see the disconnect too from OGs. They always call it OGs a unk. I don't even like. I respect it, but I don't respect it because it, I don't think there's no more respect on anything. You know what I mean? Like when I grew up, I respected everybody who was older than me, whether you were dumb or smart. But now mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like just because you say you're a certain age, you're already an OG or unk. But you don't. Are you learning anything for OG or unk? Is, right. he, is he giving any, you know what I mean? Is he listening? Is he looking out? It's looking out for you and for your best interest too. You know what I mean? Just because you you mm -hmm. think he um, critiques you, is he is he really hating on you or is he really trying to show you something better? You know, and so yeah. I think that's a disconnect now. But anyway, no, I'm here for you. No, I, no, I think I think it's relevant. I think it's very relevant, man, because it's. <sighs> It's, it's a serious, it's a serious rebirth, man. Especially the first couple times you get hit with it until you get used to the fact that, okay, I'm going to have to be reborn in some way again and again and again. It's like, it's you ever seen one of them? Thing. No, Say I, it again. I, I was just saying, it's not a one-time thing. Like you just said, you got to be reborn and reborn. But, yeah, it's like like those crustaceans or, or like uh, spiders when they, they got it. They always got to shed throughout their whole life. You know, and it's, it's it's not something that they doing wrong. It's not something, you know, they should have done this over here. They should have done that. Now I wouldn't have to shed. Like, nah, you know, it's going to come. You know, just, <laughs> you know, I thought about how many spider webs I took down. That those spiders took, like, I don't know how long it takes for a spider to make their web to get food mm -hmm. that they need every day. And I'm here, just, we just wipe the spider webs down. And it's just like. Like damn, I just took all night or all day or a week to make this spider web. You just come like, oh okay, that's just a spider web, and that's just like, right. like you take. Um, I'm 46 years old. Just to say, I took 46 year, years to make this spider web. Now all of a sudden, Aries come, comes and says, oh fuck this spider web. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass, what, what's that spider web over here? That shit's in my way. <laughs> I love that. Oh, man. So it's just, I look at little things like that now that I didn't think about before, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. And, and I think another, another reason why you being uh, an older guy is it puts you leagues ahead is because you've you've gone through life and had to have been competent with something like a lot of these younger folks they've never had to be competent with anything and so they don't know what that means to develop something and and and, and hone a crap like bro you could probably knock my ass out with, with fucking push-ups or some boxing or something like you got the upper body and what, what, what? That's, all, that's all looks that's all looks <laughs> man please so, i know it ain't easy i can say that much i know it ain't easy so, I mean, that's, it, part, it, that's, that's something that I had, but that was the image. That was all part of my image, you know, that started way back when that I, I kept up that discipline because I needed a certain image of Tony. Tony, mm -hmm. but Tony, the only reason why Tony was Tony is because he had to look like Tony. If he mm -hmm. looked any other way, that's not Tony no more. So, that's mm -hmm. what that means, is what I'm so just being real. It's just like you just 
People are like, oh, I love the gym. I love you. Don't love the gym. You love the way you look because of the gym. Mm -hmm. the day, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because you think you're this physical body, and that's all you have. You don't have nothing more deeper than what you look like. You know what I mean? It's no, no. Yeah. I, I I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, so I I I I, I, I think because. Cause you have a good idea, a sense of, of what it is. It's just, it's just the 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 actual execution of it. Like like like, you know, you could tell me the type of workout I, I I could do to start to build my frame, you know. But if I think I'm I'm gonna get that in the first week, or or I'm or I'm upset because I did these twenty push ups and now my arm hurt, you know, like, and, you know, like that like that's what you're feeling right now. That's what it no, is. The, the fucked up part is that I always hated the gym. To this day, uh, I don't mm. even like the gym, bro. I don't like the gym. <laughs> I don't like the. I've never liked it. I, I kept finding people that love the gym, and I would, I would hang on to their motivation. And because Ooh, I, I, uh -huh. I looked, I looked in the mirror. I was like, yeah, that's how I want to look. So in order to look a certain way, I got to do a certain thing. I had a goal. I had a direction. Not because I'm disciplined. I'm disciplined because I love the image. I'm not disciplined mm -hmm. because I'm disciplined. So. I was I was a vegan vegetarian for like seven years, not because mm. not because I was so disciplined or just because I was woke or because I wanted a spiritual life, which I thought it was, I had to do a spiritual life at the time. Mm. But I did mm -hmm. that. I did that. There's a reason why I did that. But long story short, is what I'm trying to say is a lot of people see me going to the gym or taking care of this body as because I I love it. I I don't love none of this shit, bro. I'm telling you. I love nothing of this life. I just do it because I get certain benefits by doing what I do. And I know the benefits I'm going to get by doing what I'm going to do. But I don't have, I don't know the benefits I'm going to get by being spiritual. If I could be real. You know what I mean? No, so, no that's, that's, that's real. Um, here, because this can add to the direction as well. Because um, I think it's also something you're looking for. Um, Because uh, you, you mentioned before, you know, I, I just want to be able to be me, whatever that means. Um, and, and that's sort of uh, a, a pull towards being authentic and finding ways where you're being inauthentic. Like, because motherfuckers will hear me sitting here talking shit all day, but like, I went through a long period where I had to shut up because I, when I started listening to myself and the things that would come out of my mouth, I would I would say half truths or or capping ass shit. And when I when I started to dedicate myself to to catching those things and and only saying things that were authentic to me for a long time i had almost nothing to say you know i had almost nothing to say and i i think one of the one of the places where you can you can really look for direction is is trying to be more authentic we're not trying but being more authentic you know and not just in a performative way but um in a way where you're instead of and so okay this is probably a better way to say it instead of seeking to be more authentic uh seeking to 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 have clarity on where you're not as authentic as you could be because 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 yeah, sometimes people will say okay uh, it's like the difference between looking at step 10 and staying here at step one. Like sometimes we'd be like, okay, I want to be more authentic. And so they perform things like, this is what I want to do. And this is how I feel. And you know, that's where they're going, but they're they don't check to, to, to get more clarity on how they're inauthentic. And that's what I would suggest is checking, to, like being more aware, open and, and, and pursuing those places where you're not authentic because by the time you get in there fishing out how you're inauthentic the only thing you have left is your authentic self and so in the, so you see what i mean like searching for where you're 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 in your own way as opposed to trying to perform how you think you should be okay. so i'm gonna just explain the way i i heard you i think i've been a perfectionist at being able to see my inauthenticity is that how you say it no that's right yeah you got it. and the pronunciation <laughs> <laughs> so i think most of my life i've been able to see that part mm -hmm. and, um, i've been trying to build 
the later years of my life, I would have, my early years, I wouldn't be able to talk this way. I wouldn't be able to tell people I'm not really humble. I was just being prideful. I just want to look good in front of people. You know what I mean? Especially mm -hmm. on the fucking internet like this. So, um, <laughs> so I, my thing is that I don't, I don't think that's a hard thing for me to do, to be authentic and to shout out. Like most people, most people when I like when I say I'm a piece of shit, most people are like, what are you talking about, Tony? They all mm -hmm. good stuff, and I'm like, nah, I'm not good. Like, and I and I have to like really tell them all the shitty shit, in my opinion, that I do. Like, I could use my my good side to make you trust me, but then I'm using you. You know what I mean? For yeah. Need at the time. So, and I have no point like being with women or my mother or whoever, whoever. I could tell them the truth, but most most people find it hard to believe me when I'm being authentic because it yes. sounds like it sounds like I'm putting myself down and nobody like mm -hmm. not, you know, love and light and you know how people are supposed to. You get a gold star for every good thing you do, even though it's not a good thing. <laughs> but, you get the gold star. <laughs> So I'm just saying that to be real and to be authentic, but maybe there is, not maybe, but there probably is things that I'm inauthentic that I haven't seen yet, or I haven't put a flashlight to. That, mm -hmm. that you, I don't know. No, I'm just, I'm just, I, no I, I feel you, I feel you. It's, uh, not necessarily inauthentic as in inauthentic with other people, but inauthentic with yourself. Like for example, um that part of you that's ready to to jump in and tell yourself you're doing something wrong when you don't necessarily know what right is you know that's inauthentic with yourself because it's 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 ready to to it's almost like uh an underlying idea that ultimately you're gonna fuck things up and not necessarily giving yourself a chance. See, that's something you can face and and never have talked to anyone about it. You know, like like or or um or really coming really coming face to face with a part of yourself that is it, it may not be a hundred percent scared to get something wrong in front of somebody, but maybe it's it's ten percent scared. And you know, you get used to saying, well, it's just a little thing. It's just a little fear, you know, it's nothing thing. But when you actually look at it, you'll see how many places it's got his hands in kind of thing. Like that's, that's sort of what I mean. Like the more so authentic with yourself as opposed to other people. Does that make sense? No, 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 it makes sense. Cause it, it's like you, you want to be more authentic in other people. Cause you want to get that, that award, that cookie, that the hero cookie for them. But when it comes to you, you're like, nah, you, Yes, it makes, it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. Because I mean, it's it's, and especially when you start to get older and you you're in your ways and your habits and you're doing something that 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 got you a particular result up till now, it's hard to look at that thing and say, hey, I got to get rid of it because you know it's been it's been taking care of you for so long. Right. But it's that it's it's an old scaffolding. It's like that cushion, that scab, like that scab been taking care. Of protecting your hands you had that soft hands now it's like but the scabs ain't no good bro <laughs> yeah. yeah you don't need it anymore and 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 because i really i do get that man it's it's, it's shit that, that that served you before it's like a uh a, a old stuffed animal you know when you was a little kid you know it kept you safe in the dark or whatever but you hit teenage years you don't need it anymore you know <laughs> like how i look out here with this damn stuffed animal <laughs> And 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 in other places where where some of that can be um can be because because a lot of this stuff can be very subtle that that's that's how it'll it'll fuck you up it can be very subtle um like uh what's a good example uh, like one one way one place I like to to point it out for people is where where they have a tendency not to show up for themselves. Like if, if somebody else needed me to do it, oh, I'm there, boom, I got you, boom, boom, I got you. But they won't show up for themselves. And and, and really looking at it, because it may be, once again, something that, that seems really small now, but you get in there and look and 
it, it keeps you from showing up for yourself in different ways because there's an underlying presumption that you know maybe maybe not maybe you're not worth it or maybe you know based on all the dirt you know about yourself you just like i ain't even got a chance i may want i may as well not even try you know and it's good man I, I like to say it is giving yourself room to, to surprise yourself you know because especially when we, when we start to get older we have been through some shit you know we it, it almost feels like nothing's gonna surprise you anymore nothing. but the when i when i the thing that helped me what you're talking about now that I, I I'm able to see now is because when I was a Christian, I really was a Christian. But when people weren't looking at me, I was really trying to do things behind the scenes that Jesus could only see me do. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? So I, I so I did go through my F Jesus and F Christianity. I went through all that. And I, I still have videos. I wasn't saying F Jesus, but I was I have videos that I saved. I save those videos because I want to show people who asked me when they asked me, well, you know, about my path. And people try to come up, oh, but you don't know about Jesus Christ. And I was like, bro, like, here's a video. Like, I, I've been through that already. I've been through that stage. It doesn't work, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. But I, um, I think I keep it more for me at the end of the day. Because I, I like to see me speaking at that time and just seeing where I was and the way I was, you know, actually thinking and um, putting things together. But... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have an answer to after what I just said. Okay, now that I just showed that Jesus ain't real, or now that I just showed that this part in the Bible didn't make sense, what's the solution to this? What, what now? Where do you go with all this? Mm -hmm. and that's what I didn't have, or, and I still don't have to this day. And that's where we're at. That yeah, I could give you, I could give you rebuttals. I could give you questions, like you say. What's the question? Okay, okay, you gave a good ass question, but you don't even have the answers to that question. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. you know, and so, and that's where you, you put that flashlight on me to be like, okay, now, now what? What's the solution? Do you even know where you're going? Because if you don't know where you're going, you might as well go back to Jesus. And when you said that, I was just like, God, dang. I was like, <laughs> I'm not going, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now what's the next option? So at the end of the, and it's not that it's, Jesus is bad mm -hmm. for people. Mm -hmm. it is. I'm just saying that's not where I want to do. I want to I want to get to that whatever that next level, whatever that next journey direction is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to go back to where I just came from. I'm trying to keep you know moving ahead in the right and then the direction I'm supposed to go in, not right or wrong, but the direction I'm supposed to go in, which I keep. Oh. Do you, do you uh, from the consoles? Do you remember um, the non-physical conception of self, Michael, or freedom? Well, I had two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, how, how have you been uh, engaging with that at all, or how's? No, I haven't done that. <laughs> Is there a particular reason why not? Or yes, um, the most, the main reason was is why when I when I started this, I had no direction to go with it. I didn't know why I was doing it. I didn't know mm -hmm. why I should do it. So I was just like, that's why I told you I was frustrated. I was like, okay, I, I get Michael and Freedom. What the fuck that got to do with Tony? Even though I, I said I'm not the body. Right. <laughs> and then with the ancestors talking about, what, you know, my pops, my grandpops, and my other grandpops, I was just like, I was trying to talk to them. And um, I, I just didn't, I didn't have a, a direction. That's it. That's it. At the end of the day, I don't. I didn't have a direction why I was. I need to know a why I'm doing something. And once once I know the why, I fucking break through those barriers quick. But when I don't have a why, I I, I could easily go into depression, anxiety. Type. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, that makes sense. Um, hey, here's something else I can suggest. Um, um, using using Michael and freedom as as a uh, a bearing for direction um because, because just like you're saying you know even outside of church when you was christian you do stuff because you like okay look jesus can see this well same difference with uh with michael and freedom all that shit you do, do all the things you think all the things you believe michael and freedom can see it you know and 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 just having that that the the knowledge of their gaze i guess you could say the knowledge of their awareness being on you with that can help 
guide you guide your actions a bit you know because even even when you you know in christianity when you think okay jesus can see you know you may not always know where things are going to end up but you know what you got to do in the moment does that make sense the faith mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. talk about the faith yeah. yes yes not yes fine. is he like but you just go ahead like like with people who, who you go over a christian house and they got pictures of jesus up they got the statue um you know they they got a they maybe maybe they got a jesus song you know that they like to sing whatever um you can do the same things with michael and freedom uh like maybe there's a superman picture that that resonates with with the idea of michael and freedom you keep that picture up you know you you, you walk around with the s you know and and it, it has the same effect to, to help with the with the direction because I, I know a lot of times right it, it, it it's hard to know where to go what to do and on the one hand you got the part that's like well I don't want to be beholden to somebody else telling me what to do but at the other side you got well I don't know what to do and it'd be nice to have some guidance you know and so those two kind of clash like that like see that's some of the things you might be able to find in that hell part underneath tony's place is is that part of yourself that still really wants somebody to follow you know not to say not in a, in a shameful way but it's 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 uh in a in a childlike way where okay i'm being reborn and i don't know and i, I and i have the desire to have someone to tell me what to do even though i don't want to have to do what they say right you know, does that make sense yeah perfect sense yeah, those are some of those. Those are some of the details you want to have on, on, on Michael and Freedom. Um, that way, that way, it has an effect in your life. Because you know, somebody say I'm a Christian and I believe in Jesus. You know, you're gonna see some of that in their life. You're gonna see some of that in the in the in the the way they keep their home, the things that they have there. You know, and and the beautiful thing about some of this is is you can keep it in plain sight. Like nobody has to know that what that Superman image means to you. You know, it's, if you don't know what you're looking at, you don't see nothing. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And then see the more, because it, it can just start with something small, just like that. But the more you you lean into it, the more that's uncovered, the more that reveals itself. You got a you got a question oh, there. Hi, the EJ. Uh oh, that's what's up. Uh, that's what I've been tripping up on. Where I replaced the heaven and hell story. Well, um, because and I understand that because, like, this is why I talk about cosmology because the cosmology comes with the story, you know. Like when you, when you get into Christianity, they already got the whole setup already set up for you. You just got to fall into it. But I'm now you talking about cosmology. I'm almost fifty. I was like, cosmology. What the fuck you talking about, cosmology? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> These these old religions and rites they they've been doing it for so long and when you do it well no one even has to think about cosmology you know but when you're out here having to rebuild it from from ground up these are some of the things you gotta it's like new learning so so yeah it, it it's, it's important because there's let's say okay with Michael and freedom um the more the details you know about what it means for them to be what they are the more you can uncover that story like with christianity with jesus like when you call jesus you know jesus story you know he's that's god's son he came down here and got on that cross for me most know the story anyway but most well you know you know enough of it to make sense you know yeah 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 and and then the more it the more it affects you the more you want to learn more about the story you know and so it's that same thing you get a little bit of 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 freedom in michael's story it it unfolds well, that, it that, unfolds that's where i get stuck because you say the more i know about their story but the more the more you say that is like i got to create a story because i'm just like you know, you know what i mean I, well no no I, I get what you mean i get what you mean uh and this is why i say it, it's it's on one side of it it is it is a you creating it but on the other side it's a you are letting it unfold it's like you plant seeds for a garden or well, you till the soil you pick the seeds you put them where you want to you created that but you got to let it unfold and you got to participate in its unfolding for it to work out right and so the, in the beginning it looks like okay i'm just making this up but 
when you move based on what you what you believing, it can start to unfold. Like you can start out like, okay, um, Michael, Michael and Freedom came down here, um, and and you know, as soon as they hit the ground, this Tony thing started to sprout up, and they're here to cultivate it, you know. And okay, that can start out. That that could be a, a basic place to start with. Okay, Michael and, and, and Freedom came here to to grow something, and the thing they've been growing is this Tony. You know, okay, that, that starts you out. But then now you can start to get more. Okay, well, so what was the place like where Michael and Freedom came from? And you can ask them. You know, you can you can you can in, engage with them. Maybe even go visit with them if you'd like to. Like let's say take me back to where y'all was at for a minute. And maybe the first time you go, you only get a little bit. It, it, it's confusing. You go a next the second time, you can see a little more. You're like you ever been to some place where you know it's the first time you go. And you know you see a few things, but then you go another time, or you go uh, you go again like during the day, and everything looks a little different. It's the same thing, but you notice more now when you go the second time. Well, even the whole Jesus story that was confusing in the beginning, but we only we only follow that story because one is written down for us already, and two we trust somebody that brought us to that Jesus story. Like my mine was the grandmother. So I really love my grandmother. She brought me to church. She told me about Jesus. Now we have a whole story written out for us already. So mm -hmm. when I'm listening, I just want to tell you what I, what I hear when you're saying is, yeah. we already have things that have been written out for us. We have somebody that we trust that brought us to this written out story. And now we've seen when we believe in this story, certain things happen. Mm -hmm. For this one, it's it's the degree to which you trust Michael and Freedom, you know, and and because this this is the part where you're uncovering things that are already there. Like you ever you ever realize something that you knew that you didn't know that you knew, or you forgot that you knew. It's almost like uncovering it. It's it's, it's similar to that sort of a feeling where these things. There's so much stuff that's there, but it's it's a process of uncovering what's there. It's like well, archaeological digs, you know, you know, you maybe see a little rock poking above the dirt, but you start to uncover it. And there's all this shit that was already there that you didn't know was there. And that's, that's mostly where you're going to get the, the unfolding from. Cause at first it, it'll feel like I just have to make something up, but like, like with the, like with the idea of blinking and you get to go to the heaven place or back to Tony's place, like that was right there at the surface. Like the things that are right there at the surface, that's the stuff that, that you're uncovering. It's the easy stuff, right. all right? It, 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 it's, that's where you're not having to force it. And it may seem like, oh man, that was too easy. <laughs> it don't, it don't have to be simple. It always so simple. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's how much you trust in what's there, you know? Cause I've I've had people who who at first they they were just making things up, um, but once you start to lean into it, you know, once you start to have your actions line up with what you say you believe, that's when it starts to unfold and reveal itself. And it's not easy. It's 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 not easy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and clown you and say that that part's easy, especially at the beginning. It's not. But I remember when I first started out, and and, and this, this this story sticks in my head. Like um, I had the deity I created. Um, his name. Well, now his name is Rudolph Murphy. Uh, he's he's like a dual deity. But when he first started out, he was this, he was a little monkey deity that I kept in the car um, to help me get a good radio station. And I had been say it again. If it could all be so simple, that was a simple ass explanation you just gave me. Like that's it, a good explanation. Shit starts out very right. simple. It, it, when you when you lean into it, then it starts to unfold and get a little more complicated, like a plant. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I started out with him, um, and and I was testing my boundaries. I was testing how much I believe. Um, one of the things that that Rudolph was good at doing was. Um, altering people's thoughts like not to say i want you to think um carrot and now you're gonna think that like no like 
Like, if I didn't want somebody to notice me, you know, all that takes is a second of distraction and I'm good. And so I was doing this thing where I was like, okay, because I at that time I had been riding around with, with no plates on my car. Um, <laughs> right, dirty, right? <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't want them to see me. And I was like, okay, uh, I, I, I pulled up to a stoplight and there was a cop like maybe two cars ahead of me. And I was like, I'm like, damn, I'm gonna have to ride past this motherfucker. I know it, I know it. And then Rudolph was like, okay, go ahead. Try it out. Do something. And I'm like, damn, I got to do it now. I got to do it now. I got to do it. And so I take the car. And I'm, I'm riding up. I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'm going. We're going to find We're gonna find out today. And I get about about as close to his bumper and his lights come on. And you know what? Oh, shit. But he pulls somebody else over. And I just cruise right by. I was like, oh, shit. It's on now. It's on now. It it was it was aligning my actions with what I believe and, and allowing it to unfold. And it, because it, it's there is terrifying. It is it doesn't feel good and it's not easy at first, but it'll get you there. Uh, can, can you post this video on your YouTube page? Yeah, sure, no problem. I'll um I'll uh I'll take it off of uh, Instagram and um and uh and uh, set it up for YouTube. It's not a problem. Yeah. I really do think older guys need to see it too because it's, it's, it's being, a, being a man, you get out here and we got to do so much on our own. We don't, we're not really taught or we're not really experienced ways in which we can connect with other guys. And it's, it is dangerous to just be out here with your emotions on your shoulder all the time. You know, you know, we're not crazy for thinking that. Um, but we, but we can't be in a place where we, we can't do anything. Right. And that, that's, 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 that's detrimental. Right. That's like that, um, that invisible cage we put around ourselves. Like, mm. like hmm. The, the animal cage, that electrical cage that's not even there, though. It ain't got no electric play. Like, it's just there. <laughs> <laughs> and just the sight of it is it enough yeah. not to not to go near it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like I told it's you, the fear. To, and I tell you, I to do this today, I had so much anxiety, bro. Like, And I'm just like, why do you have this much anxiety just to get up and just talk? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just... It's just we, I still don't know why. I like that. I don't even have the explanation why. I just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna do it." Like, let's do it. And we, we see we had problems with the other page, and I was like, "Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's not meant for us to do this." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, you good? We good?" <laughs> oh. I said, try the other page, and I was like, "It didn't happen right away," and I was just like, "Damn." So there's always an like, excuse for me to to try something new or do something new. Of mm -hmm. But anyway, I, I, you we, we, we can use that as to, to extend this technique a little bit too. Um, like for, for, for that hell realm. Um, Cause you were just saying, you know, I still don't even know why I had all this anxiety. That's a perfect example. You go down to that hell realm you, and you find the Tony who had the anxiety and, you know, actually, you know, face him, see him, hear what he has to say. You know, okay, what about this had had us anxious? And if, if it helps, and I think it would, take Michael and Freedom with you. You know, let's go on a track real quick. Let's go find this Tony that has this anxiety about this. Because you you already know it's, 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 it's somewhat ridiculous. It's like, what the fuck? Why am I? It's just a lie. What am I doing? Right. But go and find him. Cause, because there are so many different versions of yourself that have this little thing. And, 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 and it's... It's easy to overlook them sometimes, especially after we we've overcome it, so to speak. You know, you already showed up on the live, so it may seem like okay, it's unnecessary, but you'd be surprised how many places that little thing has its hand in. And it's, it's a little bit of a barrier for you of being more authentically you in a free way where there's no little invisible electric fence. You know, like that's what I mean by, by, by us being in our own way kind of shit where it's, it's a version of you that's got this anxiety about something that's, that shouldn't even be that big right 
but you actually got to figure it out because you can find it's a it's a it's a maybe a childhood version of you that that is stuck in this memory of that time maybe you went in front of class at show and tell and you brought your favorite yo-yo and everybody said that shit was trash Whack. you know <laughs> or i had shit to show <laughs> right I, I had exactly and I had a show exactly. I had to show. <laughs> and, 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 and and not you know, you 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 face them. That's one thing. You you allow yourself to see, okay, this this is in me. Like, okay, it's ugly, it's shriveled up, it's in a corner, scared. Okay, I can see that. I can I can acknowledge that even if it's a small fear, this fear is in me. Okay, I can see it. Then the next part is okay, let me let me listen to what it has to say. You know, let me see what it's what's this argument, even if it sounds ridiculous, because whatever this ridiculous thing is, it's in me. And I need to be able to 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 to, to, to let it have its space for a moment. And then once you can once you can dialogue, once you can face it, you can dialogue with it a little bit, you can actually comfort it. Like give yourself the comfort other people never gave you that you wanted. You know, because because it, it, it it's crazy sometimes. Like I I because I talk to different people and as much as they want to be heard by the world, there's so many parts of themselves they won't even listen to me. You know? I think <laughs> in fact, you sent me all the, the replays. I was like, I don't listen to none of that shit. <laughs> I so much shit. And, and when I was listening to it, I would fast forward when I was talking just to listen to what you said. And, you, and that's the first thing you said. Don't fast forward yourself. I was like, nah, I'll fast forward. I don't care what you said. I'll fast forward myself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because because there's a because I, I think sometimes when people do that, like there's a part of themselves that knows, you know, you don't even want to hear, hear the things you got to say, like the things that are gonna come out your mouth are gonna sound crazy, and you won't have to think about that. But once you can once you can face it and you can see it, you can actually you can really move past it, like not in a in a coping way where you know you numb yourself to how it is and you just deal with it, but but you actually contend with it and engage with it. Can you, can I pause so you can't hear? No. Oh, oh uh, I, I just had to take a, I didn't want to be you and, and take a piss so everybody hear. <laughs> uh, I think if you hit the little microphone. <laughs> hey, y'all know how I just be on that motherfucker taking a piss. <laughs> I'm moaning and shit. Ah. <laughs> Uh, if, if you want to, you can hit the the camera thing. I think too blocks out. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. I remember I shitted myself at school, and my parents had to bring a change of underwear to school. Ooh, 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 ooh. that gotta be embarrassing, man. I mean, I, I think I remember one time I shitted myself, and it wasn't even like full blown like shit, shit everywhere. It was like. It was like I knew I had the shit, and a little bit came out, and I was out in public. I was so upset. I was walking all weird, trying to get back to my car. <laughs> God damn, bro! Oh man, I mean, it wasn't even a lot, but I was crushed. <laughs> I was so embarrassed with myself, and didn't nobody even know. Nobody but even knew, but I was you. just, I was, I was mortified. <laughs> Right, even even just taking a regular shit, not even shit on yourself. Going to the bathroom, you couldn't even take a regular shit. It was like, oh no, only I take a shit. Nobody else takes a shit. <laughs> it's like you used to be in school, like if, if even though everybody takes a shit, if anybody knew you took a shit, it was, oh, it was like, shit. oh no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put your legs up in the air when somebody came in. <laughs> oh man, don't let them see your feet up under the stall, man. <laughs> yeah, I was grown, bro. I was like, I had to be like 21, 22. I had to be 21, 22. It was not. It was, it was not a good day for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. And, and that's the thing. That, that, that's why that, that hell realm can be perfect because you can get in there and you can really engage with the parts of yourself even you don't want to look at. And the more you get to looking at them and you become comfortable with them, but that's what I mean when I say you, you can recognize the smell of your own bullshit. Where, you know, because sometimes it's easy to be like, oh, the world is fucked up. Everybody's shitty out here. Y'all need to change. But some of that shit could be the shit in your own pants that's thinking, you know? That's Even like if it ain't a lot. That's like when you when you're in a shit too long, you don't smell your own shit. 
You're so used to it. You're like, I was right? And then somebody came in, you're like, you took a shit. I'm like, oh, you smell that? <laughs> like, like, you ever seen hoarders where people go into their house and they're like, oh my God, it stink. And the other person like, what do you mean? I it smells fun. I delivered the house like that, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, see, I've never even been. To, ooh. I did Best Buy when I was like 23, 22. And I came in a house like this. <laughs> and the dude I was with, he was like, yo, you're not embarrassed? I was like, they're not embarrassed? Right? They're not embarrassed that I had to do that? You know what I mean? And that's when I was even dumb, too. And I still was like, shit, that shit stink. It's uh, horrible. No, but it, that's how it's it, like. If that at that age, if I'd have done that, I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't have put my shirt over my face because I'd have been. I'd have been too. Um, too nice. I would have just sat there and smelled that nastiness and pretended like I didn't. But that's that was my point. I was that too nice guy. But it was. I was so. I got a big uh, nose, bro. I smell everything. So I was just like, hey, <laughs> what are you smelling? Yo, I smell everything. <laughs> I feel too nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I had I had to grow out of a lot of that that too nice stuff because it was it was me being inauthentic um, in a way that I thought I was helping other people and myself, and I was fake humble. Like, yeah, it was fake humble, fake humble. Yeah. Yep. Oh man! And yep. see, with the young folks, bro, they don't, they don't, they don't understand that. You know, you feel like you be a teenager, you full of piss and cum, and you think you're ready to be grown. But I mean, you don't really hit grown till about thirty something. That was my best years, best hard years, but <laughs> best my thirties, yeah. And then I got to my forties now, and I'm just that's where I hit that that wall. Like, okay, you thought you knew some shit. Being a, a baby again, like it's being real mm -hmm. type shit. Yeah, man. Some folks die without even getting any, any even close to any of this. So I mean, that's why I count myself lucky. And some folks will go to the grave and, and have nothing. Now, what what's your thought on that? That that's I, that's what made me think differently when you just said that. Well, was my thought on what? Like when people uh, go to so. What you just said makes me go back to when I was in um, church. And I was like, well, how about the people that were abortioned or miscarried or died early that never got to find Jesus Christ? how they get to go to heaven? Mm -hmm. That's, that's <laughs> what I think. So I put that on the same level what you just said. Yeah, there was a South Park episode about that. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a loophole, you know? Because it's like, uh, what happens to a retarded person if they can't accept Jesus? Do they go to hell? You know? Right. And it, yeah, it's, it's little loopholes, little little catches. You know, because when you're a Christian, you try not to look at that and just try to overlook it and say everything is still you're good. Because you're special. Yeah. But see, this is where you want to get zone in because for yourself at least you want to be able to zone in on those places where you want to give yourself an exception you know or a loophole so that you can cope but it's it does you no service to give yourself a loophole to cheat yourself to cut your own corners right oh i mean that only works so long you can fake it till you make it so long until you don't know where you're going mm -hmm. why are you faking it to make what like you said where do you fake it to make it to well, yeah, you, know, you made it, right? You, you you should probably end up faking making it instead of, instead of actually making it. You know, it, it's 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 a long journey, man. Like it's it's a lot of stuff that goes on in life. Mm. That's see, that's what I'm saying. The young folk don't understand that. They think they ready. They they, they think they've seen it all, and it's not even close. It's not even close. Not even drop in a bucket. So you could, it's a drop in a bucket full of water, right? You thought that was the ocean. Uh -huh. then, you get, <laughs> then you get to a pond or a puddle. You thought that was an ocean. And it keeps getting bigger and bigger until you really get to the ocean. It's just like, God dang, not you really a drop in the ocean. And what they say, we only know what? 10% of the ocean right now? 5% of the ocean? I think it's probably, yeah, from something like 5% of the ocean. And mm -hmm. the ocean is what? 75%, 85% of the earth? Yes. Yeah, see? That's what I mean. Like, there's so much in what you are. Like you only, we only know most people only live in like a shallow version of themselves in the surface. But when you start to get deeper in your own shit, there's so much to explore. There's so much to uncover. There's so many little things that you thought 
oh, I've been over that, man. I ain't think about that no more. But just because you don't think about it don't mean it ain't in you. Don't mean it's not affecting the way you move, what you do, how you decide things, what you believe. You know, it's, 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 it, 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 there's layers to it. There's layers to it, man. And, and I know, I know the beginning phases are difficult and, and it can be confusing, but I'm so serious. It's worth it, man. Like, you, you, like, please listen to them recordings. Like you, like, listen to you. Like lean into Fuck Michael you. and Freedom. <laughs> yes. <Fuck laughs> yes. <you. laughs> For real. Nah, that shit's hard as fuck. Oh my God. Every time I think about even going to that, I get cringe. It's like anxiety. It's just like, oh, I don't even want to listen to that shit. You know, this is because I know I, I every time I try to like when I try to why I don't post me no more on Instagram and I post you or somebody else is because I don't even want to hear myself no more. I got nothing to say. <laughs> I got nothing to say, bro. Like, don't, don't ask me no questions. Hey, go. <laughs> go <to him. laughs> yeah. Man, I'm telling you, because because you're not the only one who feels that way. It's like, as much as you think you, you may, may, may feel like, oh man, it's, I'm so cringe. Like there's so many other people who feel that way too. But that's why I love the guild, man, because people get to hear each other and see each other. You know, they'll come in with this feeling that, you know, oh, nobody else in the room understands me. Like maybe Arius gets me a little, so I'm gonna keep trying to talk to him. But it's like, no, listen to everybody else. Like this person's about to say the thing that you would have said. You know, it, it's it's like clockwork. But that's the difference between you and every, and not to give you a hero cookie, but that it just is. It is what it is. Like. When you hear people trying to teach you something, then they're, they're never quick to tell you about themselves. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They're quick to say, "Oh, I'm this, I'm that." Oh, you still you still laying in bed eight eight hours? You trying to sleep eight hours a day? Oh, you're not trying to get it? No, you ain't hustling hard <laughs> you ain't enough. Hustling hard? Two hundred two hundred thousand dollars a month? That's all you making? Ooh. <laughs> you, sleep, um, you better start taking naps. <laughs> right? That's but all no, you deserve. Sure. Right, <laughs> you don't deserve that. <laughs> but no, it's like, but even just talking about like your 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 falls, your stumbles, which aren't even really falls and stumbles. Like we all, like you said, like once we start all talking, we all start to see it's the same patterns for all of us. When I've been I've been to different countries, I see little kids doing the same shit little kids do here in America. You know what I mean? And I was like, these little kids never even met this culture, yet these little kids are doing the same thing. So mm -hmm. I, that's what started to get me. Like when I went to Kuwait for the first time and I seen this Muslim country, country with Muslim laws. And I came from Christianity, America. And I was like, the first thing I saw was families. All I see was families and, and that already, I was like, well, if Muslims are so bad, why they got families here? And when I, grew up, I grew up in a single household. I said, America, you got bad single kids. Mm -hmm. That was the first thought, and that was the first thinking of me questioning because we were taught not to question anything biblically because you're questioning God. If you question Ooh. God, now you don't use your brain that God gave you, just don't question. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just the way God wants it. Uh -huh. so, so these are the things that, that started, that was in 2006, you know what I mean? But I didn't really get into anything till 2012. You could, Mike. So to 2012, it was that's when I really I just came out my shell but like fuck it like I, if 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 what I've about what I've learned to this point wasn't real in my life then I don't even want to live no more like I was just like it was oh. I got to the point where I was like I was Christian Christian like and I not even the pastors in my mind at the time weren't pastors because I, I learned shit about them and I was just like yeah. well shit, you ain't walking like Jesus walk you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Every time you leave our church, I'm cleaning the toilets. You're going to your, to the mansions, not mansions, but he was going to the place where I couldn't live. You know what I mean? So it's just things like that. So long story short, that that's physical shit that don't mean nothing now. And when I'm, what I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm just putting things out there now because we're talking our lives. So I just want to put it out there that um, this is how I am as a grown ass man now. But a lot of people are fearful just to even think these things. Like, it's not even, let alone talk about it, you can't even think this. Mm -hmm. And that's where I was. I was 
it was like this invisible fence around my mind that okay well i, I can't even don't look at this don't see that you, you see it you hear it don't talk about it don't think about it just keep going on about your life and keep giving your tithes and your offerings mm -hmm. and i'm working mm. hard for it and i'm barely living you know what i mean and so it came to a point point where I just I was free from that and I was just like fuck everything so I had to actually go to another level of fuck it and find fuck around and find out and get hurt and because after I fucked around and found out I got hurt more as I went through that you know what I mean as I went uh -huh. through my other awakening I got hurt and hurt and I was just like damn this don't feel good mm -mm. <laughs> this Mm -mm. I, should, I think I should go back to church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, yeah. I, I remember when I was young, man. I was like, up until about fourteen, I was, I was a Christian, Christian. Man. I was, I was reading the Bible. I was praying every day. I was, I was watching. I was, I, I just like you had in your head where, where Jesus is watching, I, and I took it seriously. I took it real serious. I remember uh, I was probably about uh, twelve. And we was at church, and uh, I, I decided to go get baptized. I ain't tell nobody, but you know, it surprised the hell out of my dad when he saw me walking down that aisle to go get baptized. You know, because I was I was in it. I was like, this is this, this is real, right? We we here, we doing this. But yeah, it was it was a big it was a big shock to me to find out nobody else was really in it like that. No one no one really thought about it like that. You know, so. <laughs> But but this is why I like people who who are who are actually religious. My wife was was deep in Christian, um, Christianity. Um, there's another dude, uh, um, uh, Amar, that I had I had talked with. Uh, he was he was dead, yeah, serious Muslim. And it's like that's the passion you want to have about Michael and freedom. Like you got the you got the, the the gumption in you to do it. It's just you put that on Michael and Freedom and go hard like that, it's gonna unfold. It's gonna unfold. Uh, now it might get more it might get confusing and I won't deny you that. But too late. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. <though>. Real shit. <laughs> exactly. Too late. You in it. You There's in no it. And, and, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm here. That's why I did this. Cause I'm like, I can't do Ain't no way to go back. I'm just like, hey, I'm a dumb dude right now, and I'm just trying to figure my way out. Like, and I'm gonna figure my way out, just like I did before, you know. And so, it is what it is. I fuck with it, man. I fuck with it, but man. You you gotta go back and listen to those audios. I'm so serious. Oh my god. Ah, oh, once you get past the cringe and you can start to hear yourself, man, it's it's gonna be like you get. Like what I say, like when, like when you finish step one, step two becomes obvious. Like once you get past that level, that film of cringe, that layer of cringe, and you start to hear like, damn, this is this is what I think. This is what I believe. That's how I feel about it. And I'm not taking that seriously. That's the step two. And you know which direction to go. Like, I'm, I'm so serious. Does it mean... <laughs> Cause I, I get the inclination, you know, you know, sometimes people who are scamming you, they'll be telling you, you know, oh, you're not doing it right enough. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep believing. You gotta keep believing. You gotta ask Jesus, you know, and they, they just saying that, but, but I don't know how to say it and not sound like I'm just saying it, you know, but it is, I'm so serious. It's that level, that layer of cringe. Cause you, you're not, you're not the only person who, who's, who said this is I get this consistently. It's that, damn, I didn't want to have to listen to myself. But once you, once you can get, once you get in there and you're not ashamed and embarrassed of your own, listening to your own self, man, it, it's going to open you up, bro. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. Yeah. So the, the guild. We can talk about the guild, which I'm gonna be yeah. in the next next round around. Next, <laughs> next round around, I'm gonna be in there. So, uh, so yes, that start, starts when? What's what's the next June? Um, July? the uh, it, the the next one starts at the beginning of July. Yeah, the doors will open up again at the beginning of July. Yeah. Right, cool. And I like to, I, I I really do like the idea of only opening up certain times of the year. That way I have all the time and space I need to focus on whoever needs something, you know, because um, I do I do um, about nine sessions a month and I give you the recordings for six of them. 
but even still like i i even if somebody needs something a little extra i have all this time and space for it i'm not worried about you know trying to onboard somebody else take somebody else's money get them set up and caught up it's like no you get i want to be able to focus on who i got and and help to bring the people who are in there together because a lot of times people will do the thing where they say you know well i don't know nobody else in this and you know fair enough okay but but now you get to know some people who are in it and you know not just me because you know sometimes i walk in a room and it's like oh the teacher just walked in okay but, but like no you get to know other people who are who are at your same level so to speak who are who are facing the same things as you it, you know you may not you may not know them in physical life or, or have met them but maybe you could one day but it, you know and we the same ones complaining that we can't talk to nobody in physical life yes yes <laughs> that's what i'm saying <laughs> And so I, I yeah I, I I love doing that I love I love opening that up and then I love focus we we, we focus on making stuff practical because that's what everybody wants to do they want to how do I make this a part of my everyday life you know and then like I say I always like I say it could be simple like any like how do you make anything part of your day to day life you know you you engage with it you you make it you put it in your life even if it's you know even if that Christian only looks at that Jesus picture for a few minutes every day you know it's part of their everyday life and and from that little bit it can begin to unfold and and then being a christian becomes a lifestyle and not just something they do every now and then and that's what that's what this once you can make spirituality a lifestyle where you're 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 actively looking to to not only be honest with yourself about why you do what you do um but to 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 be able to to see things in yourself that that aren't right there at the surface to see some of that stuff that's a little bit deeper it's it's wonderful man i love it i love it because i know some, some people just talk about this stuff because you know no one's going to challenge them and they can say whatever they want to you know I, I can't stop it but it's it's not just it's not just i, I don't want nobody to follow me because i i have plenty of places i fuck up you know i need i love people to be better than me eventually you know like that's like, like i i want motherfuckers to be better than me like that's that's what i like i don't i don't want to to become anybody's new thing to follow because i'm i'm not the example i'd be fucking up <laughs> i said the same thing until i came across uh areas <laughs> <laughs> Be better than me. <laughs> like, who's this dude? Who's this dude? Right? This dude? Like, who's... <laughs> Every time, too? Every time? I can't, be, I can't have a up uh, one time? <laughs> no, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the shit. Be careful what you pray for type shit. Be careful what you ask, ask for. And that's what, that's what my life's been, though, bro. Like, every time I pray something and I meant it, but I didn't understand how it was gonna come because the church teaches you, oh no, when you when you know it comes, there's no there's no barriers. When Jesus Christ opens the when Jesus Christ opens the door, there'll be nothing holding it back. Mm -hmm. And we're taught. We're taught where there's no um no fight, you're going the right way. So you're looking mm -hmm. you're always looking for the easy way. Exactly. When, Something starts happening wrong. Oh no, no, that's not that's not God. <laughs> let me go back. Let me let me go back and do something different. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And that's the society we live in at the end of the day. Like, and I'm talking, I'm talking from my my own my own place of coming from the church and my family and everything. So when I when I when I see things like you, people like you, physical meat bags like you. <laughs> um, I, I go towards that now, but I don't like it. But I go towards it, and I, I, I leave. I'm like, nah, nah, he's too much right now. I can't. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> he too much. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, the but, one thing I try to open people up to, and I think it's in that same vein that you're talking about here, is, um, is, is opening yourself up to things you never could have imagined. Like a lot of times, we get caught up in the intention of what we want to be the outcome and and the world of things you never could have imagined is so much larger there's so many more resources there like like the idea of like um 
you know, if I want to you know, curse somebody or something, and I'm thinking, I'm mad at them, I'm thinking, hey, man, I'm going to fuck this man's car up, man. Fuck him. You know, that's what I, in, in my, my, my small frame of perception, I'm thinking, okay, that's what's going to fuck him up because that's what I would be mad about. But when I let, when I open myself up to shit I could never imagine, I may not know he got a problem with his mama, you know, and all, all it needs is a little bit of a push and his shit just fall, fall apart in ways that I wouldn't even know would have hurt him. You know, and so it's like being open to, okay, I want I want money in my life. Okay, well, I think it's supposed to come this way. So I'm trying to get it to do this. Nah, open it up. And, and shit comes in ways you never could have imagined. And that's, that's, I love that shit. I love that shit. But see, that's, oh man, you're going into another level. So that's the thing that I found that is easy for me. Not, not that I, I'm living the life that I, I love, but I I found a wave, a flow that um, I could easily make a living. Mm-hmm. But I, not to say that I don't gotta work for it. I could work. I have to work for it. But I'm I'm valuable in my career, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? But my my goal, my if I'm if I have to be this Tony body, will be I could be uh, remotely working anywhere in the world, like. Anywhere I lay my head is my home. I don't want nowhere to be my home. That's that's my perspective. That would be my perfect life here on earth as Tony. So, um, but I don't have that life. So my life, but the life that I do have, I can't complain, but I am complaining because it's not, I'm, I'm in a, you know what I mean? But I'm at a level where a lot of people are not even, they can't even, grasp or even think about just like I can't even grasp or think about what I really want to have yeah no no that makes that no I get you because it, it's it takes a bit of faith to do that sometimes and sometimes people think when they hear the word faith they think a blind faith where you you believe something with no evidence but the faith I'm, I'm talking about isn't isn't no evidence it's 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 actually using what I believe and walking with that and staying in line with that you know that's not no evidence it just may not it may not be how i expect it to be and that's mostly my own shit and my expectations right i think that's interesting i think it's very interesting because you know you have a an idea where uh you know home can home can be wherever you lay your head at and for me i'm i'm trying i've been trying for years to have the opposite of that man Mm. like I, I, I'm, I haven't, I haven't had a place to call home. I'm always having to go from this place to that place, and I hate it so much. Mm. I think wow. that's very. It's, it's like not, it's not that one of our things is right or wrong, no, but it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's so <laughs> different. It's so interesting to see how different things will satisfy different people in different ways. But what you're, what you're saying is very true, because um, the dude I talk about, Mike, my first best friend in the in the military, he said the same thing. And um, but he was a black brother, same complexion. And obviously, I'm not black, but my pops looks just like you. And mm. um, so I have my pops look like you. He's Dominican. My mom is white, but she's Puerto Rican. Mm-hmm. So I'm a dumb. Mm-hmm. I'm a dumb Rican. <laughs> No shit about growing up where I grew up is that it was very diverse, right? So you mm-hmm. had racism, but you had diversity at the same time. So I got to racism really wasn't huge. We knew it was there, but it wasn't huge. And the reason why I say that, not because of the way I look, but because I always had brothers in the background. If you if you look at all my pictures, it's nothing but brothers. But what's crazy is my family always taught me to be lighter because lighter is right. White is right. Mm-hmm. You know I, mean? yeah. and I, I always looked at that as, as some fuck shit, but then I understood as I got older it was because they wanted a better life for me. Yeah. And now, but because I've always, I, I, I never could uh, relate to Spanish people because I couldn't speak Spanish. 
I was like, that mm-hmm. shit was, I could speak it, but I didn't like it. I just, just wasn't, just wasn't where I wanted to go. It was always, when I went into military, I always went to the brothers. I was like, yo, I'm over here, they over there, <laughs> type thing. I don't, mm-hmm. It was nothing that I was just like, con- like I was, I never went to the military like, yo, when I see the Spanish people, I'm gonna go that way. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't something that just happened that I said, um, how's that called? Like, when you plan shit out, I didn't plan it to be that way. Mm-hmm. It just happened that way. But it's crazy because my whole life, I was taught that my dad was an ugly person because he was dark. Mm. My mom was a beautiful person because she was light. Mm-hmm. You know? So you would think I would have went the other way, but I always went the opposite way even though I didn't like my pops because my pops didn't do everything that was comfortable to me he rejected me yet I was going always to where what rejected me mm-hmm. it's, mm. it's just it's kind of making sense now but anyway <laughs> well, well, no, you, you heard think, yourself for a second right yeah that's crazy, <laughs> wow, that's crazy. right <laughs> look I'm telling you <laughs> wow that's crazy. That's why I hate talking. I guess that's why I hate talking because she... <laughs> I love that. Wow, that's crazy. But no, and that's crazy too because my mom hates me when I talk, when I drink. She's like, every time you drink, you start talking. Because I'll be talking, I just talk shit. I don't talk nothing. Anytime I talk, it's not shit that is just like, oh, you seen the game tonight? They, you see the Knicks? <laughs> what the Knicks happened? <laughs> I'm always about to see that happen. It's like, ah, I'm hitting it. Ah, the dirt. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm bringing up the carpets and all the shit. Because I, it's just like, I got to a point where I was just like, why is everybody talking about shit that don't matter? You're talking all day about some dumb shit. Okay, we got, just like when I was in my conspiracy shit. I got to a point, I was like, God damn, Tony, you, you keep posting all this shit about what's happening wrong according to you mm-hmm. and what's the solution what what are people what are people supposed to do about your great fucking conspiracy videos now what hmm. what's the answer mm-hmm. cricket that's all that was the answer <laughs> you know what i mean but you got me thinking that way and i was just like god damn you're right i thought i had all these dope ass videos Yo, they're in the lockdown. I was like, I was in my truck too. You're like, yo, what's all these dudes doing their fucking videos in their cars? And I was like, <laughs> like, I was like fuck this dude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he don't know me like that. He don't even know me. What are you talking about? Me? <laughs> so when I say, you called me out on everything that I did, bro. Like every little, little thing that I did. And I was like, yo, I never met this dude. He keeps calling me out. <laughs> like he don't got me. Yo, look at my followers, bro. Yo, I got followers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. Was, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh. oh, that makes me feel so good. Oh my God, I'm a piece of shit. Nah, for <laughs> <laughs> but this is how it was. This was my journey, yo. This is my journey of how I understood how how to be a discernment, even though I knew to this day I still don't have great discernment. I have better discernment, but I'm I'm understanding that my discernment is still not good because I still have my emotional side that trust I trust men more than I trust women, if I could be real at the end of the day. And I've been, later on in my life, I've been fucked more by men than women. Mm. Mm. And so, but anyway, long story short, I don't know where I was going with that. I just want to put that out there. That was just, it just is what it is, man. It is what it is. Yeah. Once again, once again, just this stuff, it's not linear. Like you'll be, you'll be here and thinking, okay, I'm not sure why I'm here yet, but once you get around the corner and come back, like, okay, now it all makes sense. Oh, I love it, bro. It's, it's so wonderful. What I could, it's, the, it's the unfolding. What I could put with that last part that I didn't know what what I understood with the masculine and feminine, where you, mm-hmm. always, where you put it to perspective was um, the, mascul- the masculine directs 
the feminine mm-hmm. and the feminine uh, um you, i can't i can't i'm asking you right now oh so you said, not not because yeah. the masculine is not male and the feminine is not female that's what i'm trying yeah to yeah um masculine and feminine define one another define one. and male and female right. contain one another right Mm-hmm. But we're always looking in the physical form, so we're, yeah. Not, yeah. we're all this fucking male and female go like the the, the fighting because mm-hmm. we're always looking at the um, the physical shit, but we're not looking at, at what you just that shit that you just explained. Well, we don't necessarily know how to play the role of masculine because because male right. and female like they have a little bit of each other in them. But right. masculine and feminine set the boundary for one another. Like where one is, where one ends, the other one begins. So I mean, it's a little bit separate because some, because a lot of people will just say stuff to try and validate whatever they want to say, and they, you know, to hell with the details. But it's the, those details make all the difference. Yo, look. Hmm? I point at me. That was me oh. my whole life. <laughs> 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 when you talk about me again, yeah, but once, but once you get over that, it's just like, okay, now what? I don't understand. Even if you're making money, like a lot of people making money off of this um, war, this mm-hmm. and it's like, well, what the fuck are you getting out of it? Like, now what? What's the? And they don't have it now. What? There is yeah, no. They just, it's they just whatever's gonna make the money next. They're gonna do it. The dude you put me on, um, the one that's always talking about uh, black males, um, the brother with the, the beard, he, he just shows himself the... Um, uh, uh, Dr. T. Hassan Johnson. Yes, yes. Him. Mm-hmm. Like, what he does all the time. I like, I like his work, but I'm like, how do you talk about this same shit every day? I, mm-hmm. Like you, like, you're different. You talk about very different you could talk about the same topic, but it still be like different every time you talk about it. Mm-hmm. Me, I'm not gonna talk about bitches every day. Like all these <laughs> bitches ain't doing. All oh, these bitches, these bitches. Everybody hate me. Everybody hate me. Everybody. Oh, you don't like Jesus Christ? You don't like Jesus Christ? Like I can't do. Right. I can't do that every day. That's not me, and that's why I fuck with you because you do. You teach different levels and you teach different shit that doesn't have to be. With the same shit, like it's different. But a lot, I know a lot of your audience is very young, and they won't get that. Mm-hmm. I get that. I get that very well. But I know that's why you're not about money because if you was about money, you could, you could fuck up the yo. Eat the love, I ain't give a fuck. Me, I eat it, it, yo, <laughs> it's easy for me to see. You could eat this shit up, yo. You could be a true. Trazillionaire. I don't even. I don't even know what the fuck a trazillionaire is. That's a trazillion. <laughs> I don't even know what's after that. But I'm just saying, like, no, I haven't. I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb. I can see you have merit. You have a lot of layers that you could be like. You could be used. You could fuck up the game easily. Easily. Mm-hmm. Easily. Not. Not even with yo. That shit wouldn't even be work to you, bro. Like, because when I listen to do the. Dude, the the brother you just told me about, the doctor, he's a doctor at that time. Yeah, PhD. Yeah. PhD. And he's talking about the same shit every day. Like I went to his, I could only go to your your YouTube and listen to a few not you per, personally. A certain YouTube, I could only go to your YouTube. If you keep talking about the same shit. Mm-hmm. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> worms come out the hole. <laughs> when it rains, when it rains, you're gonna have a whole bunch of worms. Because <laughs> a lot of people don't have too much original content, and it, it, it's it's not easy. It's I, not easy. Yeah, you know, my motherfuckers will think it's easy because if you make it look easy, they'll think it's easy. But no, it is easy for the ninety nine 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 nine. 